Well, good Monday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great... Feeling a little salty right now. Feeling a little bit salty. Um, yeah, it's been a rough day. Just watching Game Time Brian, the mailman, delivering, and they, 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 they're just dropping bombs on him. They're just trolling the hell out of him. So it is what it is. I'm going to be, of course, watching the Eagle game tonight, and I'm sure you guys will be trolling me uh, then. And that's fine. That's fine because, as they say, he who laughs last laughs the hardest. On a day like this, when the team literally just sucks, this will be the battle cry game that everybody will point back to. They'll say, yeah, you were 16-0 and at home, not counting the playoffs, and you got motorboated by the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, we did. And everybody will point back to that one. Everybody will refer to this one just like they did the Cardinal game last year. Um. But I do have actually something good. I do have actually two things that are good. Jake Ferguson was close to being able to play yesterday, and I think that the Cowboys definitely need, need, need him. I think that he is more of a playmaker than people realize, um, and that's what you really need. You need a guy who can be a difference maker, and we know that tight ends are key these days. Now, on to the other good news, which is actually great even though the Cowboys weren't great yesterday, and I don't necessarily put this all on the offense. Um, the offense became one-dimensional um, once we could not stop them. And once we were one-dimensional, uh, New Orleans teed off on us. It, there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But the good news that we have, at least, is one of our players is at the tops in the NFL as a rookie. Cooper Beebe, here's, here's something, like I said, this is something to hang your hat on. Cooper Beebe, according to the 33rd team, pressure rates allowed by rookie offensive linemen in week two. Um, this is week two, last week. You had Zach Frazier for Pittsburgh, who gave up zero pressures on 26 snaps. Okay? Zero. That's great. Cooper Beebe, with 46 snaps, gave up one, and that's only a 2.2% rate. That's really good. Now, Tyler Guyton is also kind of up there. He's about at, say, 10, where he gave up four on 46, um, and that was 8.9, so not quite as good. But at least you start to look and saying, okay, we, we found some offensive linemen. We just have to do better than what we're doing right now. Um, when you think about last year with Biotish, how many times Biotish was lifted up and dropped in the lap of Dak Prescott. And understand, we still, we have four rookies. And you might as well say five because Overshone is really a rookie too. This is, he's only started, well, he didn't really play that much yesterday, but really he's only had two games in the NFL. Actually, we'll say a game and a half, a game and a quarter. You know, you've got, Cooper Beebe, who's only had two games as a center in the NFL, and Tyler Guyton, who used to be on the right side, who's now on the left side. So at least give those guys some credit and say, okay, we got something here to work with and that we can build on. The worst thing that can happen to a rookie is they get out there, you know, it's like being thrown in the water and they literally drown. And so far, these two have been doing pretty good at trying to swim as a tidal wave literally came across the Dallas Cowboys yesterday. That's, that's actually pretty notable here. Um, I'm going to say that uh, Terrence Steele yesterday gave up a bad sack and gave up quite a few pressures. I don't have his numbers in front of me. But um, he may actually be, Terrence Steele may actually be the weakest link on the offensive line at this point. Um, we got to do better than this. And um, I know the Cowboy players want to get back on the field and start doing some stuff. 
Um, I'm curious today if Micah Parsons is doing his podcast today or if it's going to be tomorrow because yes, last week it was on Monday. It was like it snuck up on us. I thought it was like, okay, I thought that was Tuesdays. I really want to see what he has to say on his podcast when he does it. Um, See how he explains this one. Um, Michael was saying that uh, when uh, Micah has gone on the pivot, that we've lost. So, um, and I, I got to look that up and see. That would be an interesting one to, to kind of look at and say, keep your ass off the pivot before games. Um, be that as it may, here's an interesting one for you. Um, as bad as things are right now, if you're the Carolina Panthers who gave up a hell of a lot to try and get a quarterback, um, they have benched Bryce Young. They have benched Bryce Young after 13 starts. For guess who? Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton. Remember when they used to say Andy Dalton um, was the same as Dak Prescott? Here's what, this is what's crazy. Um, Here's what they gave up to get Bryce Young. To get the number one pick to draft Bryce Young. And they passed on C.J. Stroud. The Bears got D.J. Moore, the 23 first round pick, 23 second round pick, 24 fourth first round pick, which they use for Clive Williams. Um, and they have the 2025 20, second round pick. And you have a quarterback who has now been benched for Andy Dalton. They are literally saying, you and Josh Rosen, that that's the list. When, when you're being compared, when you're being compared to Josh Rosen, you know things are bad. You know things are awful. But, hey, that's not my problem. I know some people will say, I'd take, I'd take him over Dak Prescott in a minute. Uh, but it is what it is. So, with that being said, I'm going to go out here and do a little bit more work and get ready for the Eagles game tonight. Um, I need to get uh, – Um, I might need to take a nap because this beating that I've been taking from everybody to uh, from that game, I got to have my my boxing gloves on. I, I really have to have some boxing gloves on. All right, good people.